Uh, Kevin Soundboard says he can't stand your existence and it's incredible. Yeah. And I will say this. Somebody uh, tweeted out like the synopsis of his show to be like, you're fucking yep. obsessed, dude. This is weird. Mm -hmm. um, now he's just taken to lying. I mean, he's been lying about me for a long time. And yeah. it's comical because he lies in a way like where he needs it to be true. Because, again, we're talking about a guy who's been bullied his whole life. His parents mm -hmm. never loved him. And he's had to create this persona that he wishes he could be in real life. There's a, there's a hostility yeah. in what he's created. And now he's just like, Aaron is back with another weekend from sh like shared custody of his kids. Like, I go somewhere like to be with my kids for the weekend. Like, they're yeah, not that's... over here. It's it's weird and it's obsessive. I've, goes, I've never also brought my child over here to play with your kids. Or all never. It's together. never happened. No. But what I'm saying no. is like his obsession with children is so deep that even when he's being called out for obsessing about children, the first thing he does this week while he's seething about it uh -huh. is obsesses over people's <laughs> children. It's like, dude, that's like he, I know he's getting upset, but like, dude. I'm only saying this about you because you keep doing it. People are only saying this stuff about you mm -hmm. because you keep doing it. You keep talking about children. You keep talking about kids in a really obsessive, creepy way. And then when you get called out for it, yeah, you get mad and you're like, I'm going to contact lawyers because they're saying this stuff about me. And then the first thing you do on Monday is, Aaron's children, Aaron's children, Aaron's children. It's like, dude... Dude, you are so not helping yourself here. No. So it is nice that he can flail for two years, mm -hmm. and I don't even have to touch the fucking guy. And he's like, I'm going to call lawyers, and I'm going to... Overall, being a bitch. Uh, Honky says, Josh Denny came out and said that Melton is a gay F word that's too fat to get back in the closet. <laughs> I mean, the minute they were talking about the MAP stuff, all of a sudden he shows up on stream with a cheap silicone ring on his finger. Yeah. Dude, you're hiding something. You're hiding something. It Wait, doesn't what? count after you get called out. No. After it, it's pointed out that you're a lying piece of shit. And that's another cope of Melton's. I, I didn't lie. I was just wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't say weird shit about kids. I was just joking. Sure. How come you only clarify that after you've been caught doing the thing or they call you out? Mm -hmm. McBuster says, if Trump says Patrick Melton is an MAP, you have to drink all of the alcohol and snort all of the Adderall in the house and remain streaming until tomorrow's show. Oh I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't have any Adderall in my house. I've never, I've never been a stimulant guy. Fresh out. Sorry. Uh, Chad Zumox tweets just... Uh, just popped up on my feed. Ha ha ha. Melton is a straight up bitch and ran from me yet again. He knows he's a fraud. Ha ha ha. Interesting. Uh, -oh. uh he's a pussy. He hung up on me twice and wouldn't take my call. Why isn't he getting called out more? I I mean, I feel okay. In fairness to Patrick Melton, I believe he's getting called out a lot. Yeah, Like, there's nothing but calling him out going on right now. And I'm not, again, I'm not even the one doing it. Everybody yeah, else Yeah, but is. somehow it's always your fault because he keeps blaming you. Yeah, he keeps blaming me every time everyone finds out that he's creepy. And uh, Zumox crushed this guy a couple of times. But, uh, yeah, Melton's doing that weird thing now with people. Like, I guess uh, Josh Denny leaked their text messages. And he's doing this weird thing where, like, he gets caught being a bitch. And then he's like, oh, well, you know, I'll, ap I'll apologize to you on the show, which he won't. And then he does this thing where he's where someone goes, you lied. Like, and he lies all the time, but he's like, you lied about this, that. And then he goes, well, I don't think I lied. I think I was just wrong. Or I think I remembered incorrectly. Like, the guy is incapable of taking responsibility for anything. I heard yesterday, uh, my sources told me yesterday, Melton was still seething about my children. Which, I mean, I, like I said... Every day, it's the same thing. The guy just can't help himself talking about kids. He just loves talking about He might love talking about kids more than he likes talking about me. It's fucking creepy. I mean, creepy in a way that, like, you're watching a man melt down in front of your eyes and he can't help himself. Three, I mean, Legit, he's probably, what, 45, 50 years old? His life is three quarters of the way over. And this is how he spent it. He spent it hiding from Red Bar 
and he spent it talking about children in a really creepy way. Dr. Rondo says, I can't wait for his farms thread so I can hear about the story about Melton and Red Bar. Oh, okay. That would be interesting. I think he will get his own thread just because my thread right now is, holy shit, we may think Aaron's a silly goose, but this Melton guy is a fucking creep and a half. There, I was on the farms today, and they were saying that uh, Melton's creepier than Vito. And, I mean, I, I think it's that's an easy yes. Because, like, I've spoken to Vito before. I know there's the cuties thing and all of that. I, I don't get involved in, in too much of that world. I don't know much about those guys. But, uh, I don't know. He didn't, he didn't give me PDF vibes. But, I mean, Patrick, I mean, he's way out over his skis with all that shit. Uh, McBuster says, hopefully Anna Kasparian finds out about Melton. She will vilify him. Probably make a voodoo doll of the fat fuck. That's a big-ass doll. With little skinny arms and legs. Just make it a giant marshmallow. Uh, Roots Calhoun says, listening to Aaron every day is like drinking a 30-pack a night. Well, I mean, that's fair, because listening to Patrick Melton is like having your hard drive searched. So, Josh Denny has all the goods. And this guy was making like 10 grand a month on his um, podcast at one point, which I highly debate. He probably told Josh that, and Melton is a proven liar. Um, and Josh said he didn't get a fucking dime. Didn't get a dime. So, uh, well, it, it, makes, it makes perfect sense because Melton has fucking burned bridges with everyone he's ever worked with. I mean, Melton uh, burned the bridge with Denny. Brennan can't stand him. Chad can't stand him. A lot of these other, you know, those gay dabbleverse people can't fucking stand him. I mean, it's just... When a guy shows you who he is, you got to believe him. And he's got a real problem with that kid shit. That's for sure. I'm just, look, Lord knows I got my own problems. I'm really glad I'm not him. Blukey says Melton keeps asking fans for baby pictures. <laughs> yeah, that, that, now that uh, cutest baby picture contest makes a lot of sense. BJ becoming a member for 10 months says Melton like big foreskin because they're super tips. <laughs> oh, oh, my man. Oh, that is. That's fucking disgusting. My brother. Oh, not going to look at that service the same way again. Uh, oh, by the way, McBuster is accusing Citizen M of being on the Patrick Melton payroll. Uh, that would be so fucking lame if that were true. Like, being that insecure that you need to hire Clippers to make you look good? That would be fucking pathetic, dude, to care that much what the internet thinks about you. That guy's falling apart on his own. That guy's a guy that you just leave your hands off him, and he'll break on his own. I've been saying that. It's Yeah, I've and been saying that on Friday. People are like, Patrick will pay you $500 to go on his show. He'll be real respectful. And I'm like, um, dude, I don't want to talk about Steel Toe, so... Why would I go on his show? I literally did a bit of it, and I went to Patrick's channel, and I pulled it up, and it's just steel toe clip, steel toe clip, steel toe clip. Like, there's no pictures of Melton on his channel. There's pictures of Aaron. So yeah. I was like, if you were to look at this, and you were to ask me what I think about this channel, I'd be like, oh, this is a steel toe super fan channel. They're right. a super fan. But they are, though. Yeah. Just, but it's they, just, I don't want to do steel toe, so why did I want to go on Patrick's show? They're like, oh, well, if you email him, he'll be real respectful. And, and I was like, I'm, there, there's no, the, he'll pay you $500. I'm like, I don't want to do it. And then they're like, you need to get super tips. And I'm like, with all the stuff happening, I'm just not going to get involved in any of that. <laughs> I'm just going to stay in my corner. I'm going to do my stupid little show for my little audience, and that's what I'm going to yeah. do. Ma'am, we trusted you to be able to handle your own snacks. I'm sorry we thought you were an adult. This is a questionnaire Patrick Melton gives to eight-year-olds. What's your favorite snack? What do you need for your own psychological health? Uh, McBuster saying the signs about Melton were there. People are... I, I don't think Melton... Uh, I don't think there's a problem with him being called out right now. I mean, he's being called out all over the place. So... I, I don't I don't think people are missing that one. So somebody somebody's like, oh, somebody actually told you he's going to be respectful. You understand this is a guy who lies every time he opens his mouth and is really weirdly obsessed with talking about children. Like this is he not was trying to dox my girlfriend and yeah. people said stuff about like my daughter and everything. Like I don't think so. And then Josh Denny exposed the fuck out of him last week. 
He has no leg to stand on on the money thing either because we found out that Josh Denny helped him make a fuckload of money and Patrick Melton paid him nothing. And then Josh Denny said that Patrick Melton got arrested for cocaine back in the day and then used his audience to pay for it and oh. didn't give Josh Denny a fucking dime. This is according to Denny. I mean, Patrick Melton is having a rough go of it. I, I can't fault him for being a steel toe hater. It's certainly not affecting me as much as it's affecting him. Shit like this, it's one of those cosmic justices. This kind of stuff always ends up biting people.